Hello, world. Welcome to yet another. I really should take a sip of that before I start this, but it's like, it's almost ritual now, almost like uh, tradition, ritual, habit. Not really habit. Um, process, form, format, something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, gonna be messing around. So we got music back. The. Um, fix my router. So I'd rebooted the router and uh, I didn't have, well, actually I did have it set up so that the IP addresses were supposed to stay the same like, for all the machines that came back on. But for some reason it didn't reassign the IP address for my little um, NAS server uh, to the same one. So nothing could connect to it. Um, but then when I went in to look at it, it fixed it. Also, it was weird about that. Like I had it set to get automatic updates. But when I logged into it, it says, do you want to get an update for the past six months? And I was like, yes, please do these four security updates that should have happened already. Whatever. Hopefully it won't be, uh, hopefully all my stuff isn't, you know, freaked out. Oh yeah, so one of the next things I'm going to be working on is a backup tool kicking stuff to Amazon's uh, S3 Deep Archive. Um, cause I was looking at it and like, I was looking at like Backblaze or whatever and their price, which I think is one of the lower ones is like five cents a terabyte. And, uh, if you throw stuff into deep archive, it's one cent per terabyte, um, per month. I'm guessing that's what that was. Deep Glacier pricing. Oh, sorry, what, a tenth of a cent. Yeah, what, about $1. Sorry, yeah, it's about $1 per terabyte per month versus Backblaze, which is about $5 per terabyte per month. So, like, I think I'm going to have 10 terabytes of stuff, maybe. So, 10 bucks versus 50 bucks. I like the 10 bucks. Um, it, my thing won't be nearly as fe full featured, and I need to test the snot out of it. But um, it's basically... And, yeah, so I got to figure out, so like I got to, I'm trusting the encryption basically, but also like I'll be, I need to make sure that like I've got the keys and it's just like anything with, with all the backblaze stuff or whatever. Like I need to make sure that I've got the keys in my password manager because I'm going to encrypt the stuff before I put it up there. Um, and I got to figure out how I'm going to do the encryption where I can still see the metadata of stuff. Uh, the other thing that I want to do with it is. Uh, and probably Backblaze in those places do this as well, but I want to actually dedupe. So I want to, so I'm going to have it run on all of my computers, but I want it to dedupe across all of those computers. And so it should be able to do that because we'll hash the files and then it'll look and see if that file already exists up there. My guess is Backblaze does that. Um, or the other one. And the like Arc is like pretty good. I was looking at Arc for a while and it does some stuff pushing to S3 but they don't go into Deep Glacier yet. Um, and probably one of the reasons for that is, and I asked them if they went to Deep Glacier, and like, yeah, we go into Glacier. I was like, that's not the same thing. Um, the, that's probably coming. Yeah, so actually let's look. Whoops, back up. What was that one? Accept all cookies. The ethical questions that haunt the faith, facial Facial recognition research. That's a really cool image. I really like that. That's a good one. Uh, arc. Back up. I don't have S3 listed there. Um, on your cloud account or your NAS or your whatever so you, server so you don't lose your files, yeah. Um, but when I looked at the, yeah, so it goes to Amazon S3. Well, I guess you could, 
now that I'm thinking about this, you could actually throw it to S3 and then just life cycle it on S3. And... That's interesting. And have it life cycle into Deep Archive. But it depends on how it checks. Because if it looks... In, I don't know. Yeah, I need to look and see about that. That might be... Because I don't really want to build my own backup thing. But, like, saving 5x the amount of money on it is worth it um if i can do it safely and i wouldn't have the capability like if you're in deep archive you wouldn't have the capability of bringing it back super fast which i'm okay with um like that's i'm willing to to pay a lot less money so our premium computer includes license for six plus a built-in cloud storage option that we managed for you includes web access to your back see i don't want web access to my backups I say that, I and mean, at some point it might be nice or whatever, and like... Additional gigs over the one terabyte storage to build it. Whoa, additional gigs. Oh, we are built at six cents a month. Okay, all right, right, so that's... Yeah, six cents a month versus one cent a month, one penny a month, or a tenth of a cent a month, whatever. That's six X Glacier versus five X Glacier back place. I need to look into that, but like, I still feel like, I don't know. It's one of those things I'm sure it's way more complicated, but like the simple thing of just throwing stuff up there, I feel like should be relatively straightforward. Anyways, we'll look into that later. Um, leave that open for now. Um, but for now, what I want to do is Go through and so I built my snake case rename renamer. Um, actually, let's go to Pytron. I think it's actually open. Is it? Yes. So the other thing I did was I went through today and I spent most of the day getting into Py ENV, Py environment or whatever, um, as compared to VENV. Um, because when I installed S Tunnel the other day with Homebrew, everything exploded. It like completely freaked out all the pythons. So I've gone through, and I think I'm I think I'm back to. I just need to go through each one of the things and build a new virtual environment in Py, in in Pyenv, um, and I think I'll be set. But the other one that I was gonna try and do. So the other thing I discovered is my my system is case insensitive. And so one of the the snake case thing that I named, that I made, um, from path and form space. Touch. Okay. So that was hard coded. Yeah, we don't need that. That's hard coded to pass the test. Um, clean up some spacing here, just for uh, sake of what's the thing, pip eight. So there's all the regex. And one of the things is it slams it to lower. So, cause the other thing that I want to do is I want to make another version of this that doesn't make it lowercase. Um, and the reason for that is one of the first targets of this is going to be, and actually the reason that I wrote this stuff is somewhere I go to a computer and then I go to that music audio. So I want to run it over this directory. But the thing that I want to have happen, oh, it's funny. It's actually going to slam that out of the way. Um, no, it's not because I would have passed only MP3s. So, but, I, but actually with this, I want to have the uppercase letter stay because these are going to be file names that actually end up going back into YouTube. And so YouTube will read the file name and make, um, the, the first little title description for you from it. So I don't want those to be lowercase. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another version of the snake case thing that doesn't lowercase. The only trick is I'm gonna need to set up a little bit of a different test. But I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that test because the file system's case insensitive. So when it was case insensitive, one, I, the way that I found it out was 
I ran one of these tests and I accidentally left the the target test case capitalized, which shouldn't have passed if the script was working and everything was the even the thing was case sensitive. That wasn't the case. So anyways, now I gotta figure out how to do so the first thing I gotta figure out is what I want to call it. Um so let's figure that out. Uh let's go to get repos. Get init bear. Well, I mean, the other thing I could do is I could make snake case not lowercase it to start with, because that's really the thing that I want, and then leave a to-do in there for... Yeah, that probably makes the most sense. Um, and then leave a to-do in there to actually like pass it a flag if you want a lowercase. Yeah, and that's cool, because that's... I mean, the... The thing that I'm trying to do is to is to deal with all those other files. So let's do that. Uh text this in Python. Um But I do need to figure out a way to test that. And so amusingly all these tests will be fine. Even so actually what should let's see if this is gonna be the thing that's gonna happen. So if we run these tests, let's just make sure we're passing. Here, let's run them all. There we go. 23, 23 passed. Sweet. Um, so the question is, if I take out lower, oops, if I take out lower, and I rerun the tests, oh, no. They failed. Oh, 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 I get it. I understand see what's happening. Um, undo that. Undo that. Undo that. Uh, that was the place where I was putting in the name. So new name equals file name. New name, you can do the names lower. Okay, so let's run the test, see if that passes. That passes. But now if we take out this lower thing and run it. Oh, they didn't pass. I'm fascinated by this. Wait, now it's behaving case sensitive. What? It wasn't doing that yesterday. It's suddenly now case sensitive. Maybe it's a different, ver so I installed a different version of Python because everything broke. Maybe this version of Pi test, whatever it is, Pi fake FS is, this is the one. So this had a capital S in it. When I ran this, failed. Well, I'll be, now it's case sensitive. Okay, that's cool. Uh, that's really cool. Now I have to completely redo some stuff, but that's fine. Um, so this is where I got to figure out if I want to just, because I could just copy this code over and make a new one and call it something else, because snake case names. Yeah, we're gonna make a new one called Cobra case names, because they're bigger or whatever. Um, yeah, let's do that. I like this. This is good. This is a good plan. Oops. Get repo. Get init bear 
Herbert case names. All right, I'm going to dev. Oh, so I need to get, where's my... So we're making a thing. We're going into dev, we're gonna clone it. Get clone. Cobra case names, yep. Cobra case names. And then once we're in here, well here, let's do this. Um, get clone CD project name. Add, get, ignore. Add, read me. Oh wait, oh, I already had it, hang on. There we go, let's get ignore. Cobra case names. Makes. Uh, turns file names into Cobra case names. Doesn't actually doesn't uppercase anything. Doesn't slam to lowercase. So anything this is kind of obvious, but anything that's uppercase remains uppercase. Get add dot, get commit, initial commit. Let's actually just go into GitHub and we're gonna add that into here. Add existing repository, choose. Dev, go over case names, open up, add repository. Sure if I put a setting on the camera to make it not freak out a little bit every time I move. Um, and then we're going to PyCharm, new project, location, cover case names. I think we can do this, right? Using, oh wait, hang on, I'm not done yet. Just stand by. I'm still figuring out how to get all this stuff set up with uh, Pi environment or whatever. Oh, get check out B dev. See, I'm not sure if I should name what the naming convention should be. I think I'm gonna leave them with V E N V. That do take a minute, that's fine. It's kinda of funny for me that looking for links, requirement already satisfied, setup tools in say packages, who knows? Um So they actually put the article that I saw that this came from, actually put like one command in there that was just like a whole bunch of and statements to do all this stuff. And the thing that I didn't know, um, that should be it, right? Okay, yeah, there we go, because we can see it right here. Yeah, the thing that I didn't know is two and echo 
one here no there here does that work whoa everything freaked out in this thing they were they basically were doing they're bouncing from commands but then it looked like they added so they had something with a variable two something with variable one something with variable two and at the end they put in the thing so it's like it I, I didn't realize it would basically backtrack through there um i'm assuming it did i didn't run the command that way but it certainly i mean certainly looked like that was the case um Uh, Alright, so we got that. Now, PyCharm. New project. Cobra case names. Open. We don't want a new environment. We want an existing environment. See, how does that work? Because we've already got a virtual environment in there. New environment. We don't want a new environment. Pip executable pip and is not found. What is going on? All right, hang on. Quit this. Something's weird. That should work, right? Here's the fun part of the stream where we do tooling. See, snake case names, it knows interpreter settings. Yeah, so that's going to the right thing. You just open a folder, maybe? Is that how you do it? Is that gonna automatically pick it up? Looking for virtual environment related to your project. Scanning install packages. Okay. I think it found it. Yeah. Okay, so you don't do it. Okay, I gotcha. Like I said, this is new to me. For PyCharm, just open the new directory. Don't. Try to make a new project. All right, that makes sense. Uh, okay, cool. So, I'm actually gonna do this a little, like, so I could just copy all that stuff in there because it's basically the same thing without lowercase, right? It's the same tool. But I want to get my direction or my notes up here. 
So right, the first thing we're gonna do, let's just build our test directory. tests so I'm using this as a as a way to set up my notes right to get my notes better um, so is this is up high that's fine add it user bin environment Python three import. Well, and actually we are going to do a little bit of this. Close scratch pad for a minute. Just so we just got the two to go back and forth between. If we run that, it should fail. No module names, snake case names. Oh yeah. So here's here's the other trick is doing the test stuff. Let me see how this works actually. Cobra case names. It'd be funny if I did Python case names, but that's not Python doesn't it's more squirrely than, you know, capital case names so that's not going to exist so we're going to do new directory cobra case names inside here cobra case names pi yes please so cannot import cover case names from there. So it found the file. So now can it find it? Okay, so yeah, it's fine. So there's there's some weird stuff that happens with the way the imports happen that I was having problems testing the other day. And actually, I'm curious to see if anybody responded. I put a question on Stack Overflow a couple days back and nobody's responded yet. Um, there's a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Python thing where they talk about how to test code or how to like set up your tests. It does not work, um, or I could not get it to work. So I've asked the world about it, and it's been a couple days, and nobody's said anything yet. So um, still not sure what's going on there. Uh, All right, so we got that, we got that. And you just start building out your test. Okay, we're, we're going to jump forward. Because um, I think I've got a decent idea of what's going on there. So test project name pi. Where's my test file? Test, import, hello world, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's, this has got it. Main kicks everything off, but you can't run it directly. You have to run it from above words to say. That's fine. With that, with this, if you are trying to run it directly, which is not really what I want to do. In order to run the test, you have to install the module locally. Note, I didn't. So 
So this is the thing that I'm not sure about because it just tested. I didn't do it. Like I haven't done anything. The, the struggle that I was running into was like this import. Oh, actually it may, well, I don't know if that's calling. Yeah, I guess it is calling, right? Um, Cobra, Cobra. Case, names, test. And then this needs to be something different. Oh, it is unit test, test case. I thought it was something different when we were testing the file names. Weird. I really thought it had a different thing up here. Ah, this is it. This is the integration. So integration, you just do test case. Okay. I knew something was different. So we got that. Def set up. Cover case names equals cover case names. Python test stub. If name equals main. Wow. For some reason, I still can't. I don't know. I don't have that in my head where those go. I, they, most of the time it works, but then, especially if I start to think about it, I can't hit them. All right. So if I run that, yeah, ran test, one passed. Okay. So that's weird because last time I had to actually like install the module in the environment to for this to work, um, because it wasn't jumping up a directory and coming back down. I don't know. Maybe it's because that's not something I can type into. Maybe it somehow puts the Python, it puts it on its path. Um, how do you see, how do you see all the variables? No, I'm not gonna do that because there might be something in there that I shouldn't show. I don't know what's in the environmental variables. Um, Python path, environmental variable, environmental variable, Python path. That was pretty easy. Uh, Pacharm, echo that. It's magically nothing. Ah, eh, who knows? Okay, I'm done with it. Um, oh, you could do. I'm gonna try something. I'll see if I can do this. Import sys print sys path. There you go. So current directory, maybe that's the difference. How about that's the difference? In I don't think. No, I don't think that's right either. Um. Has no interface. Oh, it's, whoops. Path. Yeah, it's got the same directory there. Three nine. Oh, interesting. It's calling dev snake case names. Is surely this isn't putting everything on my path. Oh no, I don't know. It's weird stuff. Like I'm still, I think I borked something. So I tried to install snake case names as a command line tool. Hmm. 
Live down. Okay, yeah. So site packages, whatever. It's fine. It's working. Who cares? Um, that didn't in my old version of PyCharm with how however and it may, it may have been that Python was screwed at that point. Um, so it could have been that something was just wrong. Um, uh, where's GIF? GIF Lee. So I got, I'm on a Slack over here too. So bear with me one moment. I need to send a funny. How's there really nobody doing like a backbend thing here? Ah! Ah, it does not look right. There's really no backbend going on here? This is entertaining streaming, I'm sure. Mm. I guess we're going to use a uh, image. Jazz, I can just grab it and download it actually. Okay, cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, so why? I don't know that Python sys passed. Okay, whatever. I thought that would have shown up, but I guess it's just in somehow Python sets it. Um, so that works. Okay, so cool. So now I'm just going to copy a bunch of tests in um, one at a time. So. Let's be our first test. This is going to crash because nothing's going to be there. Right? SCN is not defined. Oh, that's going to be something else we're definitely going to want to do. So that's going to fail. We're good with that. That's what's supposed to happen. CCN is not defined. How is that? Oh, because it's not global yet. Global. See, this. I also don't know if this is how you're supposed to do this. Um, like, you can do it with self. But, like, I don't know, it just adds to the thing more. So I like this better. Whatever. Uh, global. 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 All the word. 
Yeah, so it has nothing called update name. Okay, so now I'm going to go through, and this is, again, the only difference <coughs> between this should be the uppercase and the lowercase name. So here's the existing code. We're going to just throw that straight into this one. And we're going to rename it because we just renamed it. Cobra case names. And now if we come back here, let's put these back in the right thing. Um, so we run our test now. No module regex. I think that is because we don't have it installed, right? Bip install regex. Pip install upgrade pip just so I don't have to see that warning message anymore. It's funny for me, I just installed this virtual environment and it's like it's already a point one, you know, point major minor release, whatever, um, behind. Okay, so now survey says ran one test. Okay. I wish it wasn't red. I'm gonna fix that at some point. Um so there's a test. And so, but what really what we want is it needs to be this. So let's see if, oh, I just realized why it was working the other place. So the other place I wasn't testing. So there's, I've got two tests. I have the, the generic or not the generic, but the, the class test for the objects. And I had the integration test, which has the fake file system on it. The class test, I can explicitly look at the file names and make sure that they're coming out the way that I want, including the proper case, because those are just strings that are being passed in for, back and forth. It was the integration test that was using the, the fake file system where it threw me that the, it was case insensitive. But I can actually get the case sensitivity I'm looking for by verifying that this aspect works. So the integration test like is just making sure things actually go out and line up the right way. This is actually doing the definitions of the names. So this is cool. That actually means, uh, like, that's really cool. So now I've got higher confidence this is working. Because um, what I should be able to do, where is, yep. So here, if we take that out. Passing? Passing. And now the question's going to be, uh, snake case names. We already moved that. Here's the integration test. We're not going to do that yet, but we're going to take all the rest of these tests. I'm going to temporarily throw them into sublime text just so I can change SCN dot to CCN dot. I realize I could do that in PyCharm, but All right, we're gonna run all those. Uh, oh, these are gonna, a lot, they're all gonna break. That's okay, I can do them one at a time. Which makes sense, that's how you do testing, right? So this should break. Because those are different. Now they should pass, passing. This should break. I want to see it break before I fix it, just to make sure, like, you know, red, green, right, green, right? There you go. Breaking. Fixing. This is cool. This is the one that I'm actually after. I just, I figured, and this is one of those I did that thing where it's like, ooh, but I could do this other one too. And like, whatever, like I should have done this one first. And then added the other one later. Also, I'm just gonna go through a few of these cause we know the general pattern, right? I've seen it enough that, and then also if they, if they pass, they pass, if they fail, then I know that I didn't do something right. Let's just run them here. We did a few. Okay, everything's good. Let's see what else we got. 
Space. Ooh, here we go. Complicated. TWO. More ASDF. All right. From there. A hand in the dark underbelly. From Ty. This is one of the actual MP3 files that are in there. So, like, this is taking out the and and then squishing the spaces. So, let's see if these work. Yep. Beat. Freedom from Dan. What's. Frolic ease. Oh, that's cool too, because it keeps the uppercase. It's the like to the when you take out the apostrophe, it looked kind of weird if it was ES. But with the uppercase letter there, it still has the look of whatever the word is for the apostrophe. Abbreviation? Is that abbreviation? It's like alliteration and illusion. I've got a baby. Sister, read Mathis. Self tests. Beginnings, intro, the Tower of Light. There we go. Got it. And here's one. Oh, uh, yeah. So here's one. I'm actually gonna have to copy back in. Because I've got an accent mark in there too, which is one of the things that it took me a little while to figure out. Um, but that'll be an interesting one to run. Does that all work? It does. Hooray. Anything with accent marks or anything that's not like straight ASCII original and starts getting to the UTF stuff is always fraught for me. Hey, Dan Leavitt's again. Go, Dan. Good job, R. L U M R. Still passing. Stars and constellations. Sarah, the illust illustrumentalist. Illustrumentalist. I know not that word. Oops. There. Oh yeah, look at that. So that T is cool, that all goes away. T, B. We good? We're good. Space two. Yeah, so this is good, because I can trust... Oh yeah, so this is a file path with a string, so... I want this to... F I want to watch this one fail. Failed. Yeah, so it's only... So the file path is fine. It's only inside... It only adjusts... The... This thing. Oh, it's weird. So this is directly on the T... But this is on the A, which is actually one character later, and this is on the O, which is actually one character later. Kind of weird. Maybe I'll see that Max Edrum thing happen. Sweet. Coming up. Source files. Is it okay to run? Oh, so this is just checking to make sure there aren't collisions. This is a collision. I want to do one of these with an uppercase and a lowercase. This is where it gets a little trickier. But I have a solution for it, I think. So, because because it's not case insensitive. 
it's possible. So it's possible to have this or this file dot text and this file dot text. The script would see those as independent because the script is case insensitive. No, the script is case sensitive. But if the file system is case insensitive and you put both of those at it, one of them would overwrite the other. So I have to deal with that. To do. All right, so let's finish the rest of this. So given source files A and B expected. Hello, Sent. how's it going? Happy, I legitimately lost track of what day it was. Thursday. I get next week off though, so I get to recharge. How's it going? I hope you get time off too. I hope you're working and get time off, I guess is a better thing to say in these days, right? Anyways, um, <laughs> just vibing, nice. Like it, same here. Uh, the music is eh, here, but it's all the open source stuff. Um, I keep going back and forth about whether or not I should even have music on and just listen to my own stuff and then let whoever. And I'm trying to set up a thing where you can like sync so people can listen. Like, I could have a playlist going that you could tap into. And I could be listening to it, or you could listen to whatever you wanted. So I appreciate the vibing, though. I'm just trying to make a uh, a little renamer tool here that basically mushes spaces, takes out spaces and all the other junk to get, you know, command line friendly uh, file names going. Um, I've got one that does it and does everything lowercase, but I want this one to do it so that if the incoming file name has uppercase letters, it's still cool and it, like leaves them as uppercase. So here's our proposed move files. These are cool. Everything's to pass it. So now what we gotta do is figure out how to test. Yeah, the trick that I'm running into is I've just figured out that my last night that my file system is case insensitive. So like if I tried to send this file with capital this and lowercase file, and then this file with lowercase this, you know, invert it one of those would overwrite the other. On a case sensitive system, right, they would be in they'd be two files, but case insensitive, they're gonna overwrite each other. So I gotta test and make sure that doesn't happen. Um and I think what I can do, so I've got this test right here that says if tests I hope so. <laughs> Should be neat. Like I I really, you talk about the music thing, I hope. Uh, like, I really want to be able to just like listen to my stuff. And then, if so, but like, I think it's kind of neat to be able to listen to what other, like, whoever's streaming listens to, um, or at least have the option to. Cause like, sometimes like not having anything in the background is weird, right? I don't know. It's a weird, eh, we'll see what happens. Test file will collide is false. So. Case, case insensitive, that's how you spell insensitive, right? All right, so what we wanna have happen is this. So if this goes, whoops, that is the wrong place to do that because that is not the right place. That is also not the right place. Wow, okay, just murdering everything right now. So if this happens and this happens, we should get it. The, the system should stop. It should say no go. But I think that's gonna not work right now. Fails, right? True is not false. Yeah, because the script sees those as different things. Um, yeah, DMCA, it's like, I guess I can put this where people can see it. Um, <clears throat> Like, and I kind of get where they're coming from a little bit with like the streaming stuff can be a presentation, but like, 
I mean, you know if they could... I, I can't believe somebody doesn't have a service yet that's like... And I think maybe somebody was trying to get this going. I'm sure people were trying to get it going, where it's like basically like, pay us five bucks a month and you can use our music in the back. Like, you know, you can stream our music or whatever. Um, or get like a Spotify thing going. But like, there's millions of people for some of them. And I don't know. It's just... It's frustrating. So... I'm just going to try and basically tap into YouTube and have a YouTube player go in where you can basically it's just going to be a playlist, but then it would sync up the times. So whatever time I'm listening to, if I'm 10 seconds into a song, you can click on a link and it would bring you in at 10 seconds. And then you basically stay in sync. Um, it's the theory. It seems like it works in my head, but we'll see if it actually goes. Uh, but for this, I think if I just slam these to lowercase, when I do the test, so scene files, if scene files append file set one dot lower, if I do that, does this pass? No. Why not? That should have passed. I thought it should have passed. So, let me back that out then. Um, all right, so I'm actually gonna move this to its own dev method here, because I want to get, I want to get green on this. So, is it okay to run underscore dev? Uh, underscore dev. And then just to get us green, we're just going to hard code a false in here. We're just like a face. Oh my god, what's going on? There we go. So now it should pass because we're just hard coding the value right back to it, right? Okay. I have broken something else. Optic is now. Is it okay to run the dev? Oh, there's capital D. Hey, I'm doing case sensitivity stuff. Why not? Mess with the objects and the methods. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. So now we got a now we got a backstop for a test that we can do, and so now we can actually figure out why this other one didn't work. So oh, okay. So the logic is going through. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to basically say, so this is going through a list of the files or the file set. So basically there's a set of files when you look at proposed move files, files, it starts with the original file and then it comes up with the, the manipulated name. So the snake case name. And then what it's doing is it's looping through those sets and it's looking at the, at the well, Cobra case name and there's a list, there's an empty list of files that it's seen. If it hasn't seen it yet, it puts it in there. And so the, the goal is you keep putting files in there, but if one of them's in there already, you know that you'd be, you know, that'd be a collision that you're about to overwrite something. So you stop. So I put lowercase on this, but I didn't put it up here. So really what I need to do is put test file path equals this dot lower and then replace this in both of these places because I just did it in one and I really need it in both and so I want to move it to a variable and call it that way I don't know it's purple oh there we go all right so this is still it's still gonna pass because I'm still hard-coded this is just making sure that I didn't kill something in the code like make it not compile basically which compiling is not really the right word I know but I can't think of the right word so now if we get this out of here and we're actually testing on the code again, it passed. Okay. And so now the trick is we've got two different methods, one with our other one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to forward the existing method to the dev method just as a test. Cause if this works, then we can chunk stuff back over. Um, so let's see if that tests everything, right? Pass. Okay. So now that we know that code works, um, and this is always the one that I get a little. Oh yeah. So 
Yeah, so now I'm going to point every... So now all the tests are pointing to the one... To one method. That method's actually forwarding over, but that's fine. Because we're going to call this old. So this is out of the play now, and then this is going to become the real method. Get that out of there. And so now we're testing what is going to be the production code if everything passes. And everything passes. Sweet. So now we're relatively confident that we're not going to override stuff even if the file names are different and we can blow this away. What's funny is I don't think I've committed any of this yet. Nope, I have not. I'm copying a bunch of this stuff over from existing ones, so um, basic tests working. Sweet. All right, so that's the test suite. That's got all... Why is that green? Okay, I just clicked on something. So I can get that out of there. Boop, boop, boop. So source files expected. So let's add one with file C dot text. Expected file A, file A, yeah. So, and then this would turn into file C dot text, which should stay as this. This is kind of an integration test. 24, okay, cool. Sweet, so that's it. Uh, okay, so let's bring over the integration test. Test snake case names. So we've got snake case and we've got cover case. We've got to keep them straight. Um, test integration run. Yes, this is way more straightforward. Like I'm doing all the main testing in that test file. This is just, I wanted this last little test of actually talking to the file system um, to to do an integration test. So here we are. Uh, new file. Test Kerba integration, we'll call it. Please remember, please add. So Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. If I was smart, I would have done a find and replace. Why don't we do that now? Whoops. Now there's only like two of them, but whatever. Yeah, path exists. This is funny. Yeah, so I wasn't the. This is where the case doesn't matter because the the file system is case insensitive. So, pi, fs fake or pi fake fs, um, is also case insensitive. And so source files, yeah. And then this should be cover case names. We should actually change that. I'm guessing. Yeah, this doesn't do anything but list through stuff, so that may actually work. Let's see what happens. No, don't have fake SS, FS, fake, whatever it is. Pip, install, pi, fake, FS. All right, take two. Unit test is not fine. This was so weird. When it broke, when my system broke, um, sometimes it would test with unit tests, sometimes it wouldn't. It was super weird. 
like that other so this other integration test let's see what happens now actually I installed something, I installed a app called S tunnel with homebrew and it completely upgraded everything and hosed half of my Python stuff. And it, I'm still kind of recovering from it. Yeah. Unit test is not fine. Cause yesterday this was going back and forth in between testing with unit test and testing with PyTest. It was the weirdest thing. Like it depended on what line I was on. It made no sense. Yeah. There we go. Ran. See, that ran yesterday just fine. Test name case names. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, really, I was thinking about doing a bunch of unit tests or a bunch of integration tests, but really I was like, you know, all the main testing really happens inside the module and the method and the classes and all that stuff. This is really just the, the last kind of smoke test. Um, CCN is not defined. Ah, missed one. CCN seems like, you know, sounds Russian somehow. CCN is not defined. Uh, yes. Twice we missed it. Ran. There you go. Okay, so it's working. So that's got all that jazz going, and then. Wants it one more line there. Okay, there you go. You can have another line. It's funny for me that that doesn't package containing is not listed in project requirements. Add imported package elements to requirements. Oh, interesting. Command shift enter. Does that work? What does that do? Nope. Oh, that's not command. That's this one? Nope. This one? Requirements. Regex. Nope. Okay. Who knows? Beats me. Uh, so here's our... Because we're, we're doing a command line tool out of this. And this is going to be weird because like I had a lot of problems getting in the first one to install. So here's our main. Yeah. And so I wanted to do, this is where I was, I'm still debating a little bit about where to put this stuff, but I think this is the right place. So you just do a basic argument parsing. Cause like you could throw that to something else. But like, I'm not sure, like, I don't know what you would do with that. Like, there's probably a way to test that a little bit, but it seems fine. And then, so you just make it, you pass the files to it and you run it. Um, there's nothing, nothing crazy going on. I think that's like, I'm okay with that. It's one of the first times I've done this, so I'm okay with whatever, but like, it, that doesn't feel completely out of uh, out of whack cobra case names cobra case names args parser cobra case names we're going to definitely call these ccns just like oh ccr that's what i'm thinking of like credence credence clearwater Revival? is that what the name is So that's it. Now the trick is how did, I guess the way that you test a command line thing is you just, so all the tests are passing, the integration thing is passing. So like, should be working. Uh, just run the integrations one more time. Passed, let's run these one more time. Passed, all the tests are passing. It still weirds me out a little bit to like, 
shouldn't I test the actual deployment order? Because like there's th so like this is untested, kind of. Except args parser is a thing that is well tested and know itself. So as long as I'm just getting in files and then passing in files and making the other like, I guess you could test that somehow. But whatever. All right. So now. This is going to be the trick, is how do we make that actually go into with, I did, so I didn't install this module. Which I thought I was gonna have to do in order to test it, but that didn't have, have to happen this time, so, okay. So pip x. Can I just do pip x install in here is the trick. And so I think it's, I. I think it may fight with the, so I'm in the virtual environment. So, oh, I need a setup file. One could do anything there for a second. Setup.py. Overcase names. Case names, it needs regex. Tool to make Cobra case names. Even though it's kind of just leading because it doesn't. Um... It doesn't actually do like manipulation of raising and lowering letters, it just doesn't touch them. Find packages, install. Okay, that's all good, we think. I'm not going to put a requirements in because last time I thought I needed that, but it looks like you just do that in the setup, in the install. Anything else different? Requirements. Read me, Python version, get ignore. Why does this have so much more stuff to it? Oh, PyTest cache. VS code. Those are reversed. Oh, it made the egg. That happened when I installed it. Python version, yeah. So I guess it's okay. All right, let's see what happens. Pipx install. I'm in the right directory, right? That's where the setup is. Did not like it. Oh. See, this is where it gets weird. Yeah, so. I really think this is going to install this into the virtual environment, which is not what I want to have happen. Because names. All right, so there it is. So if I go up a directory, let's go into a test directory, desktop. Oh wait, it's still in my virtual environment. Ah, it's probably because I'm in PyCharm. All right, let's see if desktop Cobra names. Get into a test directory here. Um, first of all, is it here? Cobra case names. Oh, and it ran. Oh, we might have it. Uh, touch file. Uh, bleh, bleh, comma. Bleh, dot text. 
and touch this dot text and touch spaces and an and and more junk dot text. Oh, I need more. I want another. Um, this is a file dot text. Boy, that's a bunch of junk. Cover case names, star dot text. Boom. I am very happy with that. That worked. Okay, yeah, so that's slick. For this one, you didn't install it. Just installed pipx in the pi vmv with the module. Just ran pipx install, just ran the installer with the virtual environment active ACTIVE in the directory with setup.py. Pipx install dot. That went way smoother. I think my Python environment was just completely hosed, and I've, I'm getting it back to uh, to not hosed, whatever the opposite of hosed is. Dried. Um. All right, so now let's do it for real. Where am I going? Uh, new here. Let's get this going. Um, to put you here. Let's get rid of this. It's all fine. Snake test we can get rid of. Pi two test there's nothing in it. Those are just walking. Cobra names is our thing. We're actually in it right now. We'll get out of that. Uh, that's super cool. So we're gonna go to Trove. Music 2019. Uh, duplicate. This might take a minute. I just wanna have a backup right before we, yeah, two gigs. Uh, take a couple minutes. Um, I just wanna have a backup before I delete all this because I, I wanna run all this stuff, but this will be the first one I'm doing it. And there's, you know, a few hundred files in there. Um, and I, this is on a system that I could go, there's a snapshot of the system, I think, so I could go get it back, but like, we're just gonna back it up first and see what happens. Um, while we wait, we're gonna have a delicious Sprite. Maybe delicious, it's kinda warm. Need to play around. I mean, make this a little bit brighter. Just look at the other screen. Like the I got into the the darker mode stuff when I was, I kicked over to Visual Studio Code at one point, and like this little look with the dark with a like really bright blue reminds me of Tron, and I'm just like this looks awesome. But like could use some help down here, so. I'm going to start messing with the things, but I really am enjoying the, the black backgrounds with the white text. Um, less uh, less harsh on the eyes. All right, less than a minute. Let's get prepped. Oops. Uh, LS word count line. How many files are there? 876 files. We'll see if that's what this agrees to here in a second. Less than a minute. Oh, you can't see the actual progress bar. Because it was above the thing. There it is. Yeah, see, I don't know. That may be too dark for the stream. I probably should have it light for the 
user interface. All right, survey says 876 there. Whoops, okay, 876 there. 543, 876. Sweet, okay, so, all right. Um, Cobra case names, star.mv3. See how long it takes to do 100, 800 something names. <sighs> Possible enhancement is to show you progress. And because this is also going over the network too, so it's gonna be a little slower, but also part of me is like, is this eating my entire drive right now? Which like, oh no, look at that. There's something to go. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Let me get out of that drive because I think it has some cross communication while it's going there. Wow, it's taking a long time. Yeah, so it does that pre flight check first. Am I? Ooh, actually, you know, it's funny. Am I actually bailing? Move file. Cooper guy's name is file. OS rename. Whoops. I'm not actually using that. That would have been a point for an integration test. my tests. See, I'm not sure because like that's yeah, that's an integration point test, right? Um, with that right now but yeah okay we're gonna do that this finish finished uh ls word count line 876 so it didn't delete anything like it's just renaming files i shouldn't be so freaked out but like i'm kind of freaked out It's a plan. Also, it's not stopping. I really like that. I'm very happy with this. This is cool. All right, so I guess I'm cool to delete these. Still feels weird. Deleting items. I should just delete them from the thing. Because I think that goes faster than over the... Uh, can I stop that? Stop deleting. I 
it should go a little faster, I think. Even though I'm still going over the network or whatever, but um, oh, that went way faster. Delete. All right, do we dare? I just look through these. Do we dare run it? on the 2020 without doing a backup. I mean, I think they're backed up, which I should know explicitly that they are, but I don't, oh, it doesn't, oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, it took out, oh, that one's weird. It took out the apostrophe somehow differently because normally it collapses them down. Or I thought it collapsed them down. Guess not. Oh, there's the one with the accent mark. Cool. Yeah, there's the one that, with the dots in it. Okay, sweet. I'm liking this. Okay. Uh, we're going to duplicate one more time. Give that just a minute. Where was I going? I was going somewhere. Oh yeah, so. So yeah, so let's look at this. Because Cobra Case names is all you do is, is you fire that off. But it's what needs to do. So the first thing I can do is I can get rid of move file here. Yeah, so integration test. Yes, yeah, so we want one that goes and one that, that doesn't. That's what we want, right? So, def, and also, this should be called cover case. Test, stop run so we're going to give it a bunch of files See, I'm not really doing error messages yet or anything, but I just, it needs to not run. Um, so I need to make I need to do this. So I need to make a couple different files here. AA space AA. And then AA space space AA. Those will collapse into the same thing. I don't know if they need to be made, but we're gonna make them. So they're gonna exist on the virtual file system. That really we should do is before we do this
self assert true. So let's pass a true back here. So that's gonna fail, right? Because we aren't doing that at the moment. Uh, we can actually get rid of this. Cobra case name, boom, 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 doom, does all that, and then return true. So this should pass now. Because I wanna, that's how we can actually do the signaling, right? These are kind of ugly. But like the testing of it is whatever. So this one, and I could break this out and do like that whole thing where I'm doing a different test thing, which do I want to do that? I kind of do want to do that. Let's do it for real. So Cobra case names dev. I mean, it's a pretty simple thing, but still, I want to walk, like, this is the practice of the process, right? It's also, it's def, not dev. So let's just run this. That should pass, because we're not doing anything there. But now if we do self assert false, this is going to fail. Oh. Oh, didn't fail. Um, Because nothing counts as false. How do you make it strict false? Oh wait, can you just do, is this, will this work? False is not none, yeah, okay. So assert false equals none as well. Like it treats none as false. Not so cool, but that's okay. I mean, I guess I could argue that either way. change this while we're thinking about it. Uh, so now, return false. We'll just hard code it in, right? So we get our test going. Passing, okay. And then we wanna assert false that the files exist. Which would be this. Which right now it's, this is going to pass. So I want to I want to make it fail by running this. Because I want to see, I want to make sure the test is doing its thing. True is not false. So now, if self is okay to run, run, else, return false. This needs to back up one. Oops. Ah, need to remap that. There we go. If it's okay to run, you do all the files, then you return true. Otherwise, you return false. Let's see what happens here. Ran it. Okay. So that doesn't exist. It didn't move the files. It died. It returned false. Okay. 
And so now what we want to do is we want to pass this over directly. Why is that all orange? I don't know why it's orange. This code is unreachable. Yes. Yes, it is. That is the purpose. Ran two tests. Okay, so that's that's working. Okay, so now we point this test over to main. So everything's pointed to the existing one, right? Run it. It's working. Then we name this one old. Actually, I guess we just comment it out. We don't have to rename it. Comment it out. Pull this back. Rerun our tests. Okay, there's our integration. So that way it's not going to run if it's going to create a collision. Like we were testing for the collision, but didn't actually use it. So now we're using it. To do setup. Okay, so that's done. Okay, I think that's good. Um, I need to do the same thing in snake case though. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while I am thinking about it. So get rid of all these. Oh, you know, I'm gonna get rid of this because I think that might be part of the problem when I was trying to do the, let's get rid of VS code thing too. I just wanna clear out, clear the decks here. I'm assuming I can delete all that stuff and see what happens. Setup, requirements. I'm actually gonna delete requirements right now too, just because we didn't have any other one. Um, where's delete? There it is. So back here in our tests, we're gonna go back to our integration test. We're gonna do the same thing. Actually, I'm just gonna grab it from here. So first things first, make sure this runs. Yep. Paste this in. Source files, self ss create. So this is gonna be scn. This is gonna be scn false. So this is gonna fail. Especially because this is wrong. Yeah, okay, so that should be false. So we're gonna do the same, I'm just gonna walk through the same thing. Uh, yeah, I wanna do the same thing, because this is still, I mean, this is important to get right. And I wanna make sure that I'm not having an artifact copy over somehow that's making me pass the test when I shouldn't. Um, so snake case name is dev. We're gonna do the same process. Get rid of that there too. Propose move list. PQRSTU. Okay, yeah. I did the same thing. So now passing? No. One push one at two was given. What? Oh, I didn't put a self in there, did I? Passing. All right, so now we got that. Now we can actually do it for real. Um, so we wanna get... If... Oh, we weren't testing true in the other one. Let me let me get that going too. Because I want that other test to be testing for true. Self. True that that. This is gonna fail. 
because this isn't doing that yet. There we go. This, this, this. Oh, didn't need to come with that out. All right, passing test suite, everything's green. So now we can do the work on this one. So it's really just gonna be this. If is, if self is, okay to run, do that and return true, else return false. So that should still pass on this one. Yup. And then we're gonna forward our existing one over to the new one. Run our tests, they pass. So now we're gonna point everything back there. Run, pass. Now we're gonna comment this one out. Do this one. Pointed all the new code, everything's there. Now we can delete this. It's a few steps, but I like the process. Just feed the machine. Okay, so that's got the integration test in both places. Now it's not actually overwriting stuff, potentially. Uh, so let's see. Oh, you know what I should do? Hang on, while I'm here. So one, I need to main this to four, just so I can see a version number difference. And like, eventually I'll get there and like start adding like version number flags and all the other stuff to this so you can see what's going on. But at this point, I'm just trying to get this stuff going. This is my first time going through all this stuff. So it's like, next time it'll be a lot easier. Well, the second time was the Cobra one, which was super cheating on that because it was straight. Straight copy. Um, so you could do this here. Yeah, it's kind of weird because like I don't know where you like you would put this stuff or where you should put this stuff. I mean, this seems fine. No, I guess one, two there. Never mind. Um, so if this comes back true, right? Because we're running main. Oh, wait, wait. That's not how we do that. You do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some of those formatting jumps are kind of scary. Oh, it wants two there, I think. Look at all the, just the underlines for the Pip-8 stuff.
So we can put that. Here as well. Oh. I really do like that Pie Charm is on top of all that stuff. That is so cool. Like I've I've never really used an IDE that's like integrated with the language up until PyCharm recently. And wow, it doesn't have a lot of bunch of nice stuff. Feels like magic. <clears throat> uh okay, so that is that, is that right? So that's on the snake case. Let's see if we can reinstall. Let's see if we can, oh, it's, it is doing install. So last time it wasn't doing the install. Oh, there it goes. Will not modify the existing, yeah, so. Can you uninstall dot? Uninstalled V and Z, whoa, that sounds bad. Did I do pitbacks, what did I do? That seems, I think I just did something bad. Seem to work. Uh, one to four, so picked up the new one. We are not going to test it there. Desktop, make their C name. Ha, C name. Uh, first of all, yep. Re oh, rename complete. Look at that. Okay, this is kind of cool. I'm super excited about this. Like, it's just a script stuff, but like, um, but it's like it's an application. Like, it's it's not just running a script, right? It's anywhere, and like you can put it on the path. Like, I know all this stuff, but like, this feels like an extra level of cool somehow. I don't know why. Uh, it just, cause it's installed, like I've installed a command line app. That's slick. You can make a, see now I'm thinking, right? Uh oh, danger. Um, it's like you can make like a make test files script that just puts a whole bunch of junk out there for you. Can you do different files? Just touch them, right? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that's cool. I'm really excited about this. Like, it's just in ugh, whatever. That's just, there's different things that could do this, but like, this is mine. I like it. Um, all right, so we've got, uh, music, YouTube 2020. So, uh oh, past the word count line. 
544. LL, we're going to do dot dot slash YouTube 2020. 2020. Copy. Pass that to word count line. <coughs> uh, hello. Wow, that took a long time. It freaks me out. I'm afraid my NAS is gonna die. Um. Right, 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 right. Everything's cool. It, and like the, oh, was that it updating? It's updating back here. Oh, it's funny. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Bird therapist. Oh wait, 542. Why are they disappearing? 543. 542. I maybe should have printed a log. I mean, I guess it makes sense that one of them's in transit, so you'd get to 540. I should have looked at this number, too. Well, but this should report the same. Okay, we'll see what happens. And the rename should be Atomic, so... It, it should either... Like, I should be able to stop it. Like, I'm not going to do it. But, like, you should be able to stop it, and it would... The file would either be in place A or place B. It's not going to be, like, in both or um, whatever. I'm assuming rename complete. 544. Okay, yeah, we got it. There you go. I'm extremely happy with that. Wow, that's a very long title. I could make a truncate thing too, right? Mm, the brain moves. Why does see it looked weird? Oh, there's a dot up front. Okay, yeah, see the dots work. I like this, this is cool. I'm unreasonably excited about this. Cobra K's name isn't exactly the right word for it though. Like, cause it's not, I'm not actually doing it, but like, smushing names, smush names. May I rename it Smush Names? Snake Case Names and Smush Names. It's not great either. Whatever. Uh, that's pretty slick though. I like it. I like it a lot. We're gone. And we got a little stuff going on there where it tells us when it's done. Uh, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to close this. Get out of this one. Oop, that's not all I meant to do. I'm going to do this. Don't process. Ha, <laughs> funny. Files if there would be a collision. Snake case names. Through all this stuff. Remove craft. Don't process if there would be a collision. 
And then now the thing to do is, so I had, where did I install that actually from PyCharm, right? pipx install dot. This is the one I had all kinds of problems with originally. But it just went straight that time. That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, we're gonna do one more test on the desktop. Oh, I was like, what is this? Oh, here, let's do this. Snake case. What was that? SNC can. Oops. No idea what that is. Snake case names. If we just do it here, because it's not recursive. Oh, actually, it, it's whatever you give it. So I think you could... I'll have to test this. This is where everything freaked out. Package not found error snake case names. Gar. See something something about it freaked out. I mean, I copied over the same file and the other one worked, right? So it's like, um, which, oh, you can't, can't see that. Which Cobra case names. So that installed it where I would expect it to install it. Now, which snake case names? See, that's going to that shim stuff. There is one at user local bin though, right? So users, LNS, pi, environment, shims, snake case names. Now if we do snake case names, what happens? Now it's working. Okay, yeah, so something that shimmed one, so. I don't know why there's two, like how can there, I don't understand the two of them the path coming up twice. I don't understand that. That, that happens, but um, I'm not super gonna worry about it. Star dot web lock. There we go. Can't create blah, 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 blah. That's really cool. Yeah, so I should put in some stuff like I should put in version, right? Because right now, anything that it's passed to it, it, it assumes as a file, which is, that's fine. This is the first thing that's doing. Like that's, it, it just did what it's supposed to, like the whole purpose of its existence really was, well, I guess there's two purposes. Purpose one, oh, I can get rid of those now. I hope. I'll let that one do it on the file system, whatever, it's fine. Purpose one was to rename all those files to these files, right? To do all these renames. Oh, now there's 534. Oh, there must be a hidden file in there somewhere. And all these files. So that was that's the whole purpose, the original purpose. The second purpose was for me to figure out how to do a command line tool. Right, that was the exercise that I was going through to figure out. Now that took a lot, right? Not gonna lie, um, but now I've got that figured out. 
or the first versions of that figured out. So like the next time through will take me much less time. I've got a bunch of good stuff to do. Whoops. Doesn't like it because it's in use. Okay, sure. Did I actually delete that? Oh no, here. Let's do it this way. That network stuff sometimes just freaks me out. Volume strove music. YouTube 2020. Copy. Get rid of start on MP3. Boom. There we go. I had one the other day where files weren't showing up. They were, I was trying to rsync stuff, and rsync said they were there, but they weren't showing up in the Finder, and they weren't showing up in LS on the thing, and I don't know what was happening. I'm still freaked out by that one. That's really cool. I like these a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So then you come up with a better name. So I really like the name Cobra Case Names. Um, but it's not exactly right because it, it that implies that it actually makes the, that it does them, right? That it makes the... So I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, do I want to do... I got... What else should we do? What else should we do? What else should we do? So, ooh, look at that. We got all the way out of that, didn't we? Um, oh, I guess one thing we should do is, whoa, where'd my terminal go? There you go. Is dev. Do you do no fast forward? Like, I don't really need to see all those changes, right? If I just do get merge dev, wait, so hang on. I also am not good at using git. So there's all the things that we did, right? Oh, wow, if you don't do no fast forward, it doesn't, uh... Yeah, so it keeps all the stuff there. If you do no fast forward, though. Wait, what's the difference between doing that and no fast forward? Because I can still see all the things. Ignore MP3 files. What? Finish basic rename. Eh, whatever. Who knows? Uh, all right, just because I'm still, like, I still am newish to Git. I mean, I'm not, but I am. Git clone. Git repo. Snake case names, right? Just straight pulls it down. Snake case names. I'm master. Setup should have 1.4 in it. Yep, okay, cool. Oh, that's also cool. So, yeah, it picks up that, that Pi EMV or whatever is really slick. Like, it straight pulls up your Python environments for you. That's cool. So... Git push raw update, right? We're gonna go ahead and clear this out of dev then. Get the Cobra spaces. I think I'm ignoring PyCache, am I? 
I am. Cool. Uh, that looks right. I mean, it looks like code, so I'm just making sure it's there or whatever since we just moved into thing. So that's on master, so we get push. That moves it up there. And get rid of Cobra Care Snams. Oops. I did all that stuff right. So we'll see. Uh, cool. I like it. Uh, so what? I, I want to start one. But what are we going to do? It's not too fast. Or not too bad. It slows down. It, the terminal is responding really slowly earlier. Um, oh, you couldn't actually see most of that. Sorry. This thing spins up. I forget that it's not full screen. So what we're we gonna do? Nah, it's kind of late. I don't want to get going. Um, yeah, that'll do it for tonight. And we'll uh, we'll call it here and come back tomorrow and see what's going on. So y'all have a good one. Take it easy. Be kind. We'll see you next time.